I saw your reel, the one titled uh, How Do Spells Work? Okay, and? Is it okay if I ask you a few questions on it? Absolutely, go ahead. My first question is, you said that spells work in different ways for different people. What do you mean by this exactly? When you have a spell that is cast, every time the result has, is to be shown and you've reached the end of the process, it will be different for each one of us. Each one of us is unique, not in just terms of what you want, but even if it's the same wish, it will still be different. Say a person wants a job in the service industry. Another person, the previous person being X, another person being Y, they too want a job in the service industry. There might be a whole lot of difference even in these wishes. They sound the same, but they are anything but. There might be a, a difference in terms of pay package. There might be a difference in terms of the place. There might be a difference in terms of the structure and the nature of the, the job profile and so on and so forth. So when the result has to be seen, it has to be different. It can't be the same. And as far as the wish granting part or seeing the desired result goes, that is also going to be different because there are other factors to think about. If once your spell is cast, if you keep thinking about when am I going to see the result? Why isn't it happening? I did it for so and so and they got their result, but I haven't gotten the result. You are injecting elements of uh, restlessness, a low vibe, doubt, a low vibe, anxiety, low vibe, worry, low vibe, all low vibes. And when you have a low vibration frequency, your result, the speed will slow down. It will come to you if you do it in the right method, but it will take time. What are the internal and external factors to realize a successful spell? When we talk about factors to see that a spell has reached its fruition and you get what you want, your desired change, your desired result from the spell, there will obviously be internal and external factors. When it comes to internal factors, it is what you're thinking, how you're feeling. That's pretty much it. Everything else revolves around it. Internally, you should be in that frame of mind where you are able to assist the spell in every which way that you can, purely in terms of how you think, which is a high vibe and a, a high vibrational frequency and positive thinking, and how you feel. So your vibes in terms of feeling also has to be good, elation, happiness, joy, gratitude, and so on. When we talk about external factors, it's important to realize where are you casting the spell. I'm assuming that you are casting the spell and a spell caster isn't. Say I'm a spell caster. When I cast a spell, and I'm giving you my example because that's the best example that I can give. When I cast a spell, I ensure that my altar area is absolutely clean, spick and span. It's not cluttered. It's as clear perhaps as, maybe not as clean as this table. There will be other you know, visual aids and aspects and the deities that we pray to the mantras that we chant, but it will still give a very clean look, a sorted out look, right? You also have the, the, the kind of noises that you hear because sounds play a very important role. So if the bell rings or if the, if the phone rings or if there is even, a, even the phone vibrates, yes, it does affect the spell casting process. So when we spell cast and we usually do it over the weekends, unless it's a money spell, then we do it on a Thursday and then it proceeds depending on the number of days. We do take precautions to ensure that the external factors are protected so that it only affects the spell in a good way, in a positive way. Internal factors, external factors, extremely important in spell casting. Do you have to cast a spell by yourself or can someone else do it on your behalf? Well, uh, both are possible. You can cast a spell uh, by yourself, uh, on yourself or for somebody else. This is possible only if you follow all the rules and norms laid out for that particular spell. The kind of spells that we conduct are purely light spells, white spells, of an eclectic nature. If you want to follow a particular practice, you have to follow 
that practice from beginning to end. If there is somebody else who is going to cast the spell on your behalf, they should be a master spell caster. Don't settle for second best. I'm very particular about one thing and that is brainwashing is not something that you should give in to. You should never give in to somebody trying to coax you or talk you into anything. Take your time. Only when you are confident and only when your decision is informed should you either get into spell casting or ask someone to cast a spell on your behalf. What's the step-by-step -step method of spells? Is it standardized or are they all different? There is not a single spell in the world which is standardized. When we spell cast, there is a spell, and there is a process, right? But when we cast a spell, the same spell, say it's a calm and valid spell, even if the written word is the same, your the name, the names and date of words are different, the, the condition of the casting of the spell is different, the color of the candle is different, the kind of pledge and prayer that is made, the consecration of the circle, everything is different. The step-by-step -step process of any spell depends on the nature of the spell. If you are conducting a spell, before the actual uh, process of the spell beginning, remember you have to create the environment for the spell to be there. It's something like uh, having a meal. Before you uh, start having a meal, you first declutter the table, clean it up and then lay your dining mats and your cutlery and then you get the items to consume, right? When it comes to spell casting, the first step, even before the step of spell casting begins, is to declutter your mind, put yourself in the right frame of mind, do what it needs to do to, you know, to be done, to cleanse yourself in mind, body and spirit, and then continue. But to answer your question, there is always a different unique step when it comes to spell casting for each and every step. That's why it takes a lot of energy out of the spell caster. And that is why I would advise that you always keep a glass of warm water with a little bit of honey handy. When you feel like you're losing energy, sip it. My last question is, what frame of mind do you require to see the desired changes before, during and after the spell? Could you elaborate on this? When we talk about a frame of mind, think of yourself as the picture, you as the person and you are in a frame, within a frame. So when we say frame of mind, that's exactly what I mean. Before you begin spell casting, you have to be absolutely clear in your mind. Don't be in a rush, don't be reckless, don't be desperate, don't be anxious. Anything that, that, is, um, that is a part of a low vibration, a low vibe, you can't be that. You can't be angry, you can't be unwell, uh, you can't you have to feel a hundred percent and you have to be a hundred percent and please remember the spell per se is a being of its own it comes to life that's how your desire comes to reality right so if you're going to fake it you'll never make it so be in the moment and do all the take all the steps and the precautions you're supposed to if we are talking about your being able to reach from point A to point B, you have to have what it takes to reach from point A to point B. And that's only possible if you are ready to give that much of yourself. This is before, right? During the process is when you have to be in the moment and you have to continuously maintain that level, the six things that we spoke about, so that it speeds up the process and doesn't affect it in a negative way. In the end, you need to tell yourself, I have made my wish, the universe has my back, I am ready to receive my wish. Write it down if you have to and repeat it every single time you get restless. I have made my wish, the universe has my back, I am ready to receive my wish. Once you're done with that, you will find that you get the result that you've worked towards. Now, if you have any comments or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. See you at Rakhaina.